Hello, I'm Rob Reiner from Tachium. Today, we're going to demonstrate the functionality of the System Management Mode, or SMM, implemented in our Prodigy Universal Processor and running in the software emulator Kimu. We'll start with a short explanation of SMM in general, what it covers, and why we need it. SMM in the x86 is defined as a special purpose operating mode providing for handling system-wide functions like power management, system hardware control, and proprietary OEM designed code. It is intended for use only by system firmware, not by the application software or general purpose system software. The main benefit of SMM is that it offers a distinct and easily isolated processor environment that operates transparently to the operating system or executive and software applications. The first version of the Prodigy CPU will implement a concept similar to the SMM known from x86. Tachium is adding a new software interface named System Management Call or SMC to the hypervisor and kernel for higher flexibility and system security. The following demo will showcase the SMM functionality of reading the actual CPU temperature in the Tachium Linux OS by the SMC. The Tachium SMM is responsible for reading the value from the embedded hardware sensor, validating it, and taking actions to protect the CPU. The Linux kernel only visualizes the value. It does not have direct access to the critical hardware. The screen is split to two consoles, left for the Linux OS and right for SMM debug messages. The SMM is starting first, providing the initialization and jump to address where Kimu loaded the kernel. All steps are shown in the SMM debug console. Now we'll wait for the Tachium Linux OS boot. For reading the CPU temperature, we need to navigate into the HWBON subdirectory of sysfs. The temperature is printed in milledegrees Celsius. Every reading of the CPU temperature invokes SMC in what is shown in the SMM debug console. The power off command is also implemented by the SMM. In the final Prodigy CPU, the SMM will cover much more functionality than was demonstrated in this video and some of it will be presented in the next demos. Thank you for your time today. Please stay tuned for future Prodigy updates and milestones.